Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Lauren Piesco, and here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Consumers Energy says crews are working around the clock to restore power after strong winds swept through Michigan yesterday. The company's goal is to have power restored by the end of today. As of Saturday afternoon, consumers says they put 400 people to work in restoring power. We have a saying at Northwood, go mad, go make a difference. And this was just another example of us making a difference in the community. A little team spirit from the director of financial aid at Northwood University, which took on SVSU in a friendly competition to help veterans in need. Students and faculty from both schools have been collecting personal hygiene items since November to fill a trailer for the Great Lakes Bay Veterans Coalition. Items will go to the VA to be distributed to clinics and homeless shelters. We don't know how much each school collected, but we're told Northwood won the competition. This week, the United Way of Saginaw County is partnering with Heart of the City Development Center to host a community conversation with Senator Kristen McDonald Rivette. The conversation will focus on issues that impact families and children with special needs. The conversation is happening today, Monday at 630 at the Buena Vista Community Center. If you can't be there in person, there is a way to participate over Zoom. We'll have that link in our hot link section. Now here's TV5's Kyle Gillette with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Lauren. Here's a look at that hour by hour forecast going into your later morning hours into the early afternoon. What you'll notice there, a few snow showers trying to move through mid Michigan, not really causing much of an issue for us. I think we'll just see a few flurries passing through the area, maybe even mixed with a few sprinkles at times, and then we cool off as we go into the evening. Just in time for it to be cool enough to potentially see a few of those snow showers, maybe leave a, behind a little accumulation. Uh, we get too dry out to see those snowflakes fall, so we end up drying out and we will have a few passing flurries still through the overnight hours but really uh, not a whole lot in the way of accumulation. Most of that lake effect is actually going to be on the other side of Lake Huron going into Ontario. So we cool down into the lower 30s and upper 20s as we go into the overnight hours, warming up only a little bit throughout the day tomorrow, likely only into the middle 30s, making for a cooler day overall, maybe a little bit of sunshine mixing in, and also maybe a few of those isolated flurries still continuing for us. And then we continue with our drier conditions going into Tuesday. Only an isolated chance for a small shower uh, remains in place for Tuesday. Still keeping a close eye on that, but right now uh, trending towards the drier side of things. Same goes for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We've got some sunshine potentially working its way into mid Michigan, especially for your Thursday. We also warm those temperatures up towards the middle 40s by the end of the week before potentially another chance for rain and or snow as we go into Saturday and Sunday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.